Hello, History Hooligans. Since the dawn of time, people have constantly pushed the boundaries on what we're capable of doing. By pressing these limits, we've been able to conquer both land and sea, as well as ice. My name's Michael, I'm the Red Light Historian, and let's learn something new about something that's old. In January of 1957, Japan established their first research center in the Antarctic, known as the Shoya Station. The base is located on East Ango Island in Wetzelholm Bay, which is roughly two and a half miles from the ice shelf. Due to the location of Ango Island, the weather there isn't nearly as harsh as it is on the main continent, and can even support the growth of some hardy vegetation, such as lichens and mosses. Shoya Station itself is comprised of roughly 62 buildings, with the main facility being the management and residential complex. Although there is some fluctuation to the amount of people that reside at Shoya Station, it is generally home to about 30 people. The researchers that live at Shoya Station primarily focus their attention on the climate. This is shown in their 1982 discovery of the hole in the ozone layer. However, they've also researched the sodium levels in the mesospheric layer, as well as the levels of black carbon. Despite Japan's intermittent use of the station, it is still considered a major hub for meteorological research. And the rest was history.